These are geoglyphs of Chiza. It's found in the Atacama Desert of Chile. And uh, you can see all the representations of people and structures and things. And even a, even a letter up over here with a man on it. And stuff's quite unique. Fairly far away from most of your Nazca pictures, too, there's this odd guy that's um, depicted. And I don't know what to make of it. There's two double rings up under his arms and two portal plates out beside his arm, you know, on either side of him and stuff. Standing on a platform or something, it just it's, just seems odd. Here's Machu Picchu, and of course it's it's famous. But uh, one thing that people don't know about it is, is that, uh, I don't know if you see this one little area that's not been excavated right in here, but that's the way the whole place looked. It would have been hard to see, and it was overgrown by trees and stuff. Short of somebody running into it, pretty much. And uh, it, it's quite the find. And, and, and you can see these little lines that are right in here on it. That uh, That's about the way that we saw it until we dug the thing out. It was just totally silted and full up of dust. And dirt had filled the whole thing up. And it didn't have much structure to it till we've now uncovered all of this. That's the way most of these sites look. You know, Peru even has a few of these sites here. You know, they've got uh, this area over here, and then you can see the landing strip things that are coming out from there. And uh, this is quite a bit of ways from actually the Nazca lines, but you're finding even more evidence of it there. Uh, interestingly enough, this piece right up here, I don't know if you can just see it in here or not, but um, if they would be pointing at the top of an onk. see if I can pull that back in and even get a little better look at it there. They would be pointing at the top of an onk that runs straight down right there. So I'm pointing at the very bottom of the onk, and you can see that there's this line and then a circle that goes right there. It's like an onk shape that's that large. Wrong country for it, though. And where this comes from is where Paracas is at, and you see these giant heads. Um, that um, can be put no other way other than describe them as being otherworldly. They have a different jaw structure, head, even the sutures of the way the craniums go together. I mean, people have looked at this for years and just like, Dah!